so in icmp we were discussing about the icmp that is intent control messaging protocol so i told you that two ways where by which we use icmp the number one is error handling and feedback messaging and number two is request and reply so we are initially we are starting our discussion with the error handling and feedback messaging now in case of error handling and feedback messaging mostly the these are actually uh, there are more than these uses also but these are the most widely used uh, ways for which icmp was uh, created for error handling and feedback messaging apart of this there are more things also we don't have to discuss so this icmp protocol is actually very important for your gate examination so they might ask you questions based on icmp protocol only so it might not be useful for other examinations because in gate they ask things in a very in depth manner that is why icmp protocol is very useful in gate now here we have source quenching parameter problem ttl exceed destination unreachable and source redirection i have given you these terminologies in the previous video but now uh, we have to discuss about all these terminologies in more details the first one is your source quench so what do you mean by source quench first of all let us understand what is source quench and then we'll see why they have depreciated this source quench message so what is source quench assume we have a sender and we have a receiver now if sender is sending some data to the receiver now and the receiver is obviously when the receiver will receive the data it will process the data now sometimes what happens is sender can send the data at a very high rate or you can say very high pace okay now if sender is sending the data at a very high rate but the receiver is not able to process the data in that particular high rate in that case all the packets that the sender has sent they will accumulate here i mean they will uh, accumulate here and they will create congestion in the network now when these packets will create congestion in the network obviously your network has to discard the packets by saying uh, i cannot take more data now i have to discard some packets because the receiver is not able to process it there is a network congestion in that case whenever the network is going to discard some packet or whenever a router is going to discard some packet in that case the router is going to inform the sender by sending an icmp packet by saying there is a net con uh, congestion in the network because your sending rate is very high please slow down your pace or please stop sending the message so as you can see here icmp will take the source ip in that case from the discarded packet for example this packet is discarded in that case in this packet obviously this is an ipv4 packet so it must be having ipv4 header so because it is having a ipv4 header so if a router is going to discard a packet it is going to take the source ip address from this ipv4 header and inform the source by sending a source quench message and the source will reduce the speed of transmission so that the router will free from congestion it will get the address of the source from this packet itself okay now this icmp source quench message actually this icmp source quench is now depreciated it is not in use anymore it was originally specified in rfc 792 and it was created for a mechanism for congestion control and the source quench has been known to be ineffective this is important it has known to be an ineffective antidote for congestion so congestion in case of congestion this icmp source quench message has been proven to be ineffective therefore uh, by 1995 all the routers have depreciated this icmp quench message so the, because it is ineffective okay now it's been approximately 17 years that uh, the icmp source quench message has been depreciated and its implementation have been removed support for icmp source quench me message from 2005 onwards and so on okay now so sometimes what can happen is the if the router is very far away so this is what happens when the router is very close i mean it is not very far but if uh, the congestion is happening at a very far uh, place so when the congestion router is far away from the source the icmp will send hop by hop source quench message so that every router will reduce the speed of transmission so if it is sent sending a source quench message so it will inform this router so it will inform this router it will inform this router and further it will inform this router so every router will send the source quench message one by one 
so here we should know what is icmp datagram structure so this icmp datagram structure is encapsulated in ipv4 packet so what happens is this is your uh, this is a sender so sender is sending a data packet where we'll be having ipv4 header okay and we have some data now this message will receive to some receiver where source quench is happening or you can say here the in this network there's a network congestion is there now from this ip4 header the receiver will take or you can say this router actually it's not receiver this router this router will take the ip address of sender it will create a packet here it will create an ip4 packet where we'll be having ip4 header and then we'll be having an icmp protocol okay so this icmp packet is encapsulated this word is important it is encapsulated in this ipv4 header so it will take an in ipv4 packet will be having an uh, icmp packet so this is representing your icmp packet now in that icmp packet so uh, this icmp header starts after the ipv4 header so as soon as this uh, ipv4 header ends from here exactly after this the icmp packet will start or you can say icmp header will start now in icmp header for the first case here for the source quench we have the type we have the code we have the checksum and here we have rest of the header so this rest of the header is having information regarding this ip4 header itself uh, regarding this so we'll just read it out first this ip icmp header starts after the ip4 header and identified by the ip protocol number one all icmp packet have an 8 byte header so it is having 8 byte header uh, so this is uh, you can see total 8 byte okay 8 byte means it is of total 64 bits fine and the variable size data sections and the first four byte of the header have been fixed format while the last four byte depends on the type code of that icmp packet so you can see the first eight bits here the first four byte this first eight bits uh, here it is eight bits and these eight bits are representing the type the last next these eight bits is representing the code and there is these 16 bits is representing the checksum and here this rest of the header is basically an uh, four byte so this four byte means it is of total of 32 bit okay so as you can see uh, the sender is going to send an ipv4 header this is representing your ipv4 header now after this ipv4 header when there is uh, this uh, network is going to discard some message it is going to send uh, an icmp packet for this icmp packet will be having ipv4 header and after this will be having icmp header now in this icmp header will be having a type which is selected as 4 for uh, uh, source quench then we have code which is zero then we'll be having a header checksum and then we have some unused bit and then it is having some information regarding the original ip header i mean the packet that has been discarded for example this packet has been discarded so in this packet we'll be having an ipv4 header from the, for we are going to contain some information uh, of this ip4 header in this icmp packet so this is having ip header and first eight byte of original datagram which is lost okay so that means if the sender is sending see this is important understand it carefully if the sender is sending some data packet so it will be sending an ipv4 header plus it will be sending some data when a source quench happens so uh, this network is going to discard some packet in that case so, so discarding router discarding router will create an icmp packet now in this icmp packet we will be having ipv4 header in this ipv4 header we can find the so source ip using this original header so it will be having a source ip okay so it will create an ipv4 header after this ipv4 header will be having icmp header now in this icmp header will be having all these information and then it will contain again an ipv4 header which is the header of it is the header of discarded packet it is the header of discarded packet plus it is having eight bytes of original datagram so eight plus eight bytes of original datagram 
so whenever it is going to discard some packet it is also going to have some information of the original datagram this is your icmp for header okay and it is very important for you to understand this icmp4 header how it is working for gate examination i hope that you understood this one so let us take the next uh, functionality here which is the parameter problem uh, how we represent or how we tell the sender that there is a parameter problem by icmp message